So hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about a simple and tiny problem that very many people are encountering and it has everything to do with this uh, photo tool that has been provided by the government for the DV lottery green card application. Now, the process goes like, like this. You go choose your photo, select the photo, click open and boom, you hit with an error that your image is overly compressed. Please use a compression ratio that is less than 20 is to 1. Now 20 is to, is to 1 is quite a huge uh, compression ratio and that is why this system is unable to, to uh, recognize or accept this photo. Now this photo was taken using an iPhone 8 and it will be the same even if it was taken using an Android phone. Then Google automatically uploaded this photo to my Google account, to my Google Photos. Then I downloaded it from Google Photos and then cropped it using the, win the regular Windows Photo Viewer and then tried to upload it and then I was hit with this error. Now very many people are getting hit with this error and they are confused and they do not know what to do. And after some research, I found a very easy and free tool to use. And uh, it's this XN View Shell extension. Now this is an, an extension for Windows Explorer and it's really helpful and it's what we're going to use to try and convert this, uh, this uh, image into a better compression uh, ratio. Now go to xnview.com. I'm going to leave the, the link in the, in the description below. Then head over to Downloads. Here you're going to select a version that is perfect with your computer architecture. Mine is a 64-bit computer. I'm going to click there. Then I'm going to click on Start Downloading. It's a, a 2.1 MB file. It's very small. So I'm going to download that. After downloading, I'm going to click on Open to install this. The installation process is simple and straightforward. Nothing much, just click next and then immediately you're done, it's done. Now how to uh, compress your image into a better compression ratio? You go to where the image is, mine is at the desktop. Then select the image itself, right click on the image. And then click on show more and then find the accent shell down here. I'm using Windows 11. It will be different if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8. Then click on convert. Here you have to select just a few settings. Set the output format to a JPG. Click on settings. Untick progressive optimize Huffman. And then select the uh, push the quality to 100 like this and 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 tick all this and then select float best for best but slowest that's the perfect one to use then under sub subsampling factor click on one times one it's the best quality and then click ok when you're done click on convert now by default this uh, application will 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 convert and save your image just next to the, the original one. And so we have this one here. I'm going to rename this to Alex converted so that we know that this is the converted one. Then I'm going back, I'm going to go back to the tool. And then I'm going to select the new image that has just been compressed afresh. This is Alex converted. And then I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, this one was perfectly uh, accepted. And then I'm going to click on accept and proceed. And at that point, it's done. It's compressed. Uh, it's it's uh, cropped. It's perfect. And now I simply need to download it. And after downloading this, I can now go ahead and upload it on the DV site. And this image will be accepted. As you can see, the image meets the requirements. It's 2 by 2 in size, 2 by 2 inches in size, a uniform background, mine is white, and uh, all the features have been well aligned using this, using this tool. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any problem or comment, kindly post it down there, and then I'll be there to respond, and so that we can make this easy for us.
Thank you for watching.